Hello there, it's Simone. I'm so glad you are here. I'm going to do a, an ephemera clear out like we did before, um, where I take everything that I have in my Delphonics pouch. Um, it's definitely not a capsule, but that is where I store all of the ephemera that I would like to use for a certain amount of time and um, see if I still like, if I still want to use what is in there or if I want to put it in my stash or if I'm going to give it away. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to the end because that's when I give all of the stuff that I am not going to keep away. You saw me thumbs down these roller stamps. I have had a huge stash of roller stamps. Um, but I don't really gravitate towards them. So I tried and see if I would use them if they were in the pouch. No such luck. I destashed all of the ones with where the year was already expired, which was the majority of roller date stamps that I owned. Um, and I think that's totally okay because um, if I really wanted to use or make scrapbooking spreads again in the future, which I haven't done in like three years now, then I will be able to either purchase one or make a date stamp with a different stamp. Um, I'm not going to worry about what might happen in the future. So here I'm go deciding to take everything out. This little sticker book is where I keep um, wider, washi samples that uh, someone has given to me that can be fuzzy cut so I just stick them there and then I I'm thinking of keeping parts of this this letter that I received I'm taking a, I'm, I'm basically sorting all the things that I have and then I'm looking through um, the various different washi samples that I own Am I going to give them away? Am I going to use them? <clears throat> I'm, I'm fuzzy cutting some pieces. Um, this is giving this stationery, <laughs> these embellishments, another opportunity at getting a chance at ending up in one of my journals. When I do these sessions, um, I I keep my journals closed because sometimes I see something and I know this has to go someplace and that will actually happen later on in the video. So here I'm just looking through all of these um, washi samples and I do own rolls of most of them. And so I decide that, <clears throat> you know, if I'm giving away some of this stuff, maybe I should also give stuff away that I have plenty of and I do have lots and lots of these things on those rolls and then I decide okay I haven't used um, most of those yeah see I just put it all on a stack and then I take out my writing journal um, I don't really decorate decorate in the sense of I'm I'm not making a huge fuss when I'm writing I'm writing and I'm not, if there is decoration on the page, like what I'm doing right now, then that's totally great. And I appreciate a pretty decorated page, but it is not something that will keep me from writing. I don't stop writing to decorate a piece of this journal. This is just, <clears throat> you know, little th things here and there that I find and then I just stick them onto an empty page. And as you just saw me struggle with this PET tape, that's the reason why I don't really like PET tapes. I don't know. For Maybe I need to find a different way to stick them onto the paper, but um, I can never get them on straight. There's always like air bubbles. Ugh, I don't, I don't know. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gathering all the supplies that I, you know, I'm looking through the things. I'm like, okay, I can use all of this on this spread. And then I'm, I'm combining um, similar washies 
the especially with the PET tapes that I received as samples from friends I'm just putting them together and deciding okay next week I'm gonna try and use most of that washi tape and then the week after I'm going to use most of that washi tape and even though to be completely fair it never ends up working out that way it is nice to have those on those spreads already there um, reminding me that they exist and that I would like to use them because sometimes it's even too much of a hassle to go and check my ephemera pouch I don't know if that's how you are too I'm currently in one of those I'm not really um, I couldn't be bothered with um, decorating things so if if the decoration walks up to me and says hey I would like to be on a page then yeah sure I'll I'll put it on there but if it doesn't then the page doesn't get decorated it seems like I'm in a decoration slump and that's okay it's totally fine if I'm not feeling the decorativeness right now most of the journals that I'm using work without it or the junk journal that I'm I'm working in it that the inspiration hits in spurts <clears throat> and yeah when I'm inspired then I'm creating and when I'm not I'm not um, this folder thing is from Muji and that's where I keep all the the washi samples that are not rolled onto one of those cards that that have a backing and are wider those go all into this pouch and then randomly it seems I'm putting stuff away and this time around I put all of those washi samples away um, I was just talking about something before I talked about that folder yes I also have started a Kofi uh, where I sent I have started the Kofi account a while ago but right now it's actually I'm trying to fill it with content I'm sending I'm I'm selling my digital um, printables that I make every month I started in April so this is already the second go round um, <clears throat> I have added a digital companion I have started with a physical companion in um, in April okay here I found the solution to not having this buckle up so I'm just taking away a tiny sliver of um, of the backing and then I'm placing it where I want it to stick and then I'm slowly removing the remainder of the <clears throat> backing while I'm sticking the washi tape on it I don't know if you saw it maybe you should rewind and watch that one more time <laughs> So I'm cutting off the a tiny sliver of the backing paper and the sticky part is down there and then I'm placing it on the paper where I want to I, I can actually gauge where I want it to start and end and then I'm putting it down and then I'm pressing it on and then I'm taking everything that all, still has a backing on there off and then slowly um, guiding it down there I had a mishap but I did that for the following things um, PET tapes and it worked so well I don't know why I never thought of that before if you haven't then you just saw a life-saving trick for P adhering PET tape the way you would like it to be and not the way the PET tape wants to go onto the page so let me rewind to the Kofi <clears throat> I started a year of making in February where I decided I really want to take making art seriously I never considered myself an artist but the more I create and make the more I see that or the more I'm changing my perspective to come to realize that yes we all are art artistic we are all artists some just choose to practice their art and some don't and I decide that I want to practice my art more and by sharing that 
journey on what I'm focusing on how I'm doing and I decided to reinvigorate or revamp bring life to that Kofi page and share my journey there the problem was or still is I really don't know exactly what to share but also taking the time to make art and that was when I decided that maybe if I'm sending happy mail of the things that I'm making, be it via a printable or maybe I make one thing and send it to somebody, that would help keep me accountable. I would have to, somebody gives me money to send them some happy mail, I will have to do something. So in order to, yeah, be accountable for, they pay me to do that. So I decided to open up 10 slots and um, that has kept me pretty busy. I made a printable. Um, there is a life update that I print about what I've been up to during the month and how the creating went. Um, there is a physical mail with items from my stash and also items that I made myself. And I really, really enjoy making those things and trying things, stretching my creativity. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so then in the beginning of May, I decided, okay, I do have a printable. I can also open up spots for a virtual companion, meaning those people only receive um, the digital files that they can print and um, obviously pay pay less money and uh, that helps support all of the art supplies that I suddenly need. I don't know if, if you're like me, but when I'm making art, I need a lot of art supplies because amazing stuff. Um, I'm shaking my hands down here because I have, I, it's not tons, but it feels like quite a lot and it's just it often my my creative stuff feels very overwhelming even though i love looking at it even though i love seeing it even though i love having it it also at the same time feels very overwhelming <clears throat> and so the the what i'm always looking for is a balance between having things and using them and not letting them um, weigh on me. I maybe that's maybe that's just me. I mean, may, other people might enjoy. I, I I do enjoy purchasing all the things because they're amazing. I'm supporting a lot of small businesses by buying things, and I don't want to not to stop buying because I do want them to keep creating. I mean, I'm trying to do the same thing over on Kofi myself, right? So I do understand the need for purchasing. But yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what I can do that I have a better balance in my own stash. One thing is to use the stuff. And then um, also when I fused some of these stickers, the cat stickers, I had multiples of those. And I decided, you know what? Maybe I just need to keep one of each. And then I just put all of the other ones on my D-stash. Or when I have a washi roll and I've used lots of it already, it's okay to share samples with lots of my friends or even not friends. I, I mean, so I started on that whole Kofi uh, telling because I wanted to tell you that I really enjoy making art and I love putting my own art in my journals. So the minimal decorating that I do often is the art that I make uh, for Kofi, which is great because I just, I don't want to make art just to make art or just for other people. I also want to enjoy that art. So that I'm using the things is amazing, but that also makes lots of, the pieces in my stash kind of redundant because now I, I, I have even more and I can make even more. So <clears throat> it's good. 
I, this is the pep talk for me that it's totally fine to give away things, to have things in my stash and not use them and then decide, okay, you know what? I looked at these, I caressed these, they brought me joy just having them, I can pass them on. This is everything that is in that happy mail that I'm giving away. I do want um, the people who receive this to know that whatever you enjoy and whatever suits you, keep it. The rest, throw it away, pass it along to someone else. If you have children, make them be creative. I am not mad if you help me get rid of these things. <clears throat> there are most of the things that are in this giveaway have already been used. There are items on there that sticker sheets that have not been used, but there's sticker sheets that have been used. Um, it's one pile. I'll put it in a in an envelope. I address it. I pay the shipping in the U.S. and then you do with it whatever you choose to do. Um, yeah, it always is a lot of fun to refresh my stash to to make sure that I'm enjoying and using the things that I that I have and it um, I hope this was a reminder to you that it's it's totally fine to give away things to say that some embellishments are not working for you anymore if you would like to receive my D stash then please leave a comment below and let me know what you do to refresh how how is your life going at the moment i'd love to hear this um all of the dates are in the description box below thank you so much for watching i will see you soon bye and if you want to support me on ko-fi please do not hesitate to do so the virtual companion has unlimited spaces i will send out the digital printable this weekend so today and I will see you soon. Goodbye.